We know running a family business can be tough at the best of times, but right now it's breaking people. Rising rents, wages, energy bills, the list is endless. And many aren't sure how much longer they can hold on. Bard Hatsy stays in this spot for 12 hours a day, six days a week. Work harder, <laughs> work more hours. Across town, Gino is getting anxious. How much do you think your business might be down? Anything between 30, 35% down. While Justine is surviving paycheck to paycheck. I can't get to the point where I save for a rainy day because seriously, it's been pouring for years. Tonight, three small business owners and their stories, <laughs> typical of many around our country. And electricity, the biggest killer. Increase of $9,400 um, is the estimate for the next 12 months. Small business, it accounts for 35% of our economy, but owners say they're now on their knees. I don't think I've actually had a full day off since the end of November. So they've recorded the moments we don't see in their shops. Quarter to five Saturday morning and uh, getting ready for a big day. It's been two hours now and we had no one in the shop and very, very quiet. In the hope customers and government understand and support them. Morning tea is a busy time at Nadia's cafe. Bart can't take five to even chat, so you'd think he's making a fortune. How's business generally? Business is there. It's, yeah, it's constant. We can't complain, but it's just tough making them drink. That's why? Why? This cost just going up and up and up and up. No relief. Uh, so, don't you just pass that on to customers, or really it's difficult to do that? Very difficult. Very difficult. Because? Um, you'll lose them. Uh, someone else will undercut you. And after a long day at the counter, at home he then tackles the reason why he can't make a dollar. 30% increase in our um, milk and dairy uh, products, all factored due to high electricity and gas charges, increased road and rail freight costs. 1st of February, we get increases on our um, cleaning materials. Effective 31st of January, increase in our chicken. Bart's had to make hard decisions. Yeah, we've had to minimise kitchen staff, we've had to minimise wow. staff. Um, and that's not because of lack of customers, because no. you look busy, no, but it's because a, the other costs are all rising. It's the cost of wages, superannuation, um, electricity, tax, electricity um, gas. Keeping his 31-year-old family business afloat requires enormous personal sacrifice. Tell me about that, how tough is that? It's tough, like, you know, my son uh, plays basketball. I've hardly watched him, or I haven't watched him. Uh, really? Three years, you know what I mean? It's, wow. It's hard, you know, Dad, you're coming, Dad, you're coming, Dad, you're coming. That's the original owner who started in 1947. In 76 years, this is the toughest it's been? Oh, yeah. yeah. With COVID and with the inflation, it's, yeah, we've taken a good beat. Gino Piccarelli and his staff are having another quiet moment. Yeah, we've got people on part-time now rather than having them here the whole six days. Yeah. It's a far cry from the halcyon days when Dad ran the business and he puts the blame squarely on ever-increasing costs. Here I am Sunday afternoon, instead of being at home with the family and bombarded by these bills and all these price hikes, I don't know how much more we can take. Let's go. We all need to eat and cut our hair, but imagine running a business that is seen as a luxury. I have lost clients that have simply said I can't afford it. Justine Hunter is a dog walker. It was a thriving business until her customers started to hurt financially. I've had clients say to me just simply fuel and, and um, like the cost of groceries alone um, has pushed them out of being able to have these kind of luxuries. Good boy, let's go. Today she's walking Denzel and Haku. Her customers are generally working couples paying hefty mortgages while their dogs spend long days at home. Or it might be elderly folk she's walking for. 
I have customers who and clients who are on a pension. Yeah. They may not be able to walk their dog and I can provide that service for them, but that becomes incredibly hard for them. So I've had conversations with some that said, I'll go without food in order for my pet to get walked or for them to have the care they need. And for her, the struggle for a dollar means no rest. So it's Sunday and most people are home with their family and friends and enjoying a rest, but I'm out doing a meet and greet this morning. And the costs are ever increasing. It's just getting more and more expensive to, to run the cars. My dreams are to expand and, and help everybody in all the different suburbs, but the reality of that is how do I do that if I'm just breaking even? I'm not going forward. As a small business, if you break even, you're lucky. Breaking even and you're lucky, that's the best small business people say they can hope for right now. We've gone through big recessions. Yeah. And yet this is a yeah. tougher time. We've gone through higher interest rates. And yeah. And, um, yet it's never been as tough as this. No, this is the toughest. At the moment, it looks a bit... Dicey. Dicey, but yeah, got to be positive, I guess. I just love it, you know, and, but I'd love it to be a little easier. And gee, we wish it was.